For over a decade, the Engineering with Nature program has built a portfolio of projects that work with ecosystems and nature-based measures to reduce environmental risk and build community resilience. Despite the significant rate of environmental change in the far northern latitudes, the vast majority of Engineering with Nature projects have been pursued in the continental U.S. In 2021, the Engineering with Nature program saw an opportunity to expand the program in Alaska, and one of the first places identified was Point Hope, a community with a long tradition of indigenous ecological knowledge on a remote peninsula that is facing increasing coastal erosion and flooding. This project is a unique opportunity to work with a First Nation on improving environmental resilience and in the process, establish a cold regions work unit within the program that can contribute to projects in similar environments. These are our very resourceful people. They have been here for thousands of years, adapting to the environment and the ecosystem as it changes. They are very integrated into this system, not like we are in our separate housing and environment. They're really part of the environment. They've been there for a long time. They certainly see there are challenges and those challenges are different and they are advancing quickly. But I think that they certainly see themselves as remaining there and just evolving. It would be fascinating for someone to visit a remote village like Point Hope. Just the lifestyle, the people for thousands of years have lived on the land, they've adapted to the land. They're now having to adapt to the land you know, you know, in ways they didn't before. Well, the village did move once already in the 1970s from their location on the spit to their current location. So I would say that the awareness of change happening has been high for some time, but the main driver of the increased speed has likely been from the ice cellars failing, as well as the increased erosion that they've been observing. To improve coastal resilience in Point Hope, we're looking to social, cultural, and ecological cues to help us along the way. Specifically, we're looking to work with the community as they best understand the system itself. First of all, we wanted them to understand who we were and what our goals were and what our resources were. Secondly, we wanted to understand from them what were their priorities, what were their challenges, what were their observations, and we wanted to hear if they had any ideas for how to solve these problems. The use of nature-based solutions to improve coastal resilience has not been used traditionally in northern Alaska as many western-style science and engineering practitioners would know it. That said, the communities that have lived there for thousands of years obviously have used nature to their advantage as they have existed in this area of the world for thousands of years. Some of the other challenges with working in, in Point Hope, Alaska pertains to travel. Some of the technical expertise that's needed for the project comes from the lower 48. We're really excited to work with local partners at Krell and other folks within ERDIC as well as University of Alaska and other institutions. As I mentioned, some of the technical expertise is, is being brought up by other places, in which case it takes quite a bit of time to, to reach Point Hope. A day by plane just to get to Alaska and then another day to get to Kotzebue and then into Point Hope itself. Oftentimes weather delays can cause challenges as well as shipping of instrumentation. So again, it's critically important for us to work with our partners that are on the ground within the community and to develop trust to ensure that these efforts go as smoothly as possible. The project team at Point Hope worked with the community to successfully win grant funding to move forward with the chosen alternative to help mitigate flooding and erosion. This community effort at Point Hope is poised to grow environmental resilience in the face of change for years to come.